everyone. Can you see me? Are you here? I'm on live, guys. It is 7 o'clock, just about. Okay, I'll wait to see. Oh, there's three people on. So say hi when you come on. This way I know you're here. And I'll wait a few minutes to get started. Um, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda, guys. So glad to be here. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for a couple of days. You know I love doing my lives. Um, this is like, hi, Karen. So great to see you guys. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm ha I have you on the, on the tripod right now because what I'm doing is I'm cooking at the table tonight because what I'm making tonight, guys, is Gladys, one of my subscribers, has been asking me to please make eggplant parmesan. Now, I don't really make eggplant parmesan often because I'm the only one in this house that eats it, so I hardly ever make it. But I have been craving it. I got news for you. So I bought, hi, Michelle, great to have you. Um, so I, I bought a little um, eggplant the other, like a week ago, and I was like, and she kept asking me, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it on the live tonight, so it's perfect. I bought a small eggplant. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make a, a, an eggplant parmesan. I'm going to make it. Hi, Christine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I put a lot of gel in it today, if you watched my other video of my um, get ready with me or whatever, you know, my, my morning routine. I put a lot of gel in it today, so it's very, very curly, not frizzy. Anyway, hi Gladys, good to have you. So I'm gonna be making your eggplant parmesan. I know you're gonna be so excited. I'm making a small one because like I said, nobody in my family eats it but me, but I, I don't care, I'll eat the whole thing myself. But anyway, so I'm making a small one and I'm making it at the table in, in my, um, in my electric skillet. Now, what I'm doing with my electric skillet is I'm not going to bake the I'm not going to bake it in the oven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it I'm going to fry up all my um, eggplants, set it all up. I'm going to take it all out, set it all up in here, you know, uh, build it in here and then just let it cook slowly in here for a little while. So it get hi uh, yes, good. Good 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 glad I'm glad. Um, so it'll get like all, you know, gooey and stuff like, like it's supposed to be, because like I said, there's not that much and it's fine. But what I want to do first is, um, I wanted to make these chicken legs, these chicken drumsticks for my husband and myself for, for maybe later or, you know, I don't know, later or tomorrow or whatever. So I'm going to put these in the oven first. I was going to put them in my toaster oven, but I also have to plug in this. So I'll blow a fuse so I can't do that. So I'm going to put them in my oven, but that's fine. All right, so there's 16 people on. Hi, everybody. Great to have you here. If I don't see you, your, your question writer or your comment writer, or, hi, Martha. Hi, Bridget. Don't get offended. I'll say hi to everybody. I'll try my best to give you back and forth. It's only me. Frankie will be home any minute, but he's not going to be on camera or anything. Nobody's home but me and Cooper Butt, so that's it. All right, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to put these chicken drumsticks right in this pan. I already put olive oil in it, guys, okay? And I'm just going to season them up. <clears throat> Earlier I had a big package of chicken chicken drumsticks. Hi, Sparko. I love that name. So, so excited. Um, I cooked up chicken drumsticks earlier for Cooper, and I did carrots, sweet potato, and celery. And I did all that early. I'll, I'll show you there his food. I made it all up already. I only got three days' worth of food. i got to make more. It's, it's crazy how it, it, it just... Uh, I really have to make more more at one time, but anyway, um, so I had these, I, I kept these on the side because when Billy gets home late, like on Thursdays, so he might just want to eat a little something because he has to work tomorrow morning again, so he'll probably have one or two of these, so I figured I'll make these in the oven, and then he can munch on this tonight or tomorrow or whatever. So I'm just going to season them, guys. You guys all can see me, right? So after I get sitting down and moving on the eggplant parm, I'm putting salt and pepper on these. I'm going to, uh, I'll start chatting about Jen, okay? Now, if Jenny's watching, hi Jen, and hi Jen if you're watching. Mom, I'm just gonna talk about when you were younger, when you were a baby and what happened. And I, and I, I told you about it and it, it'll be fine, right honey? And you're, 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 she was fine with it. She, she's completely fine with it. 
Jennifer is an open book. <laughs> she's an open book. She loves it. She loves the chatter. I don't know if she's going to be on tonight because I didn't, I didn't um, get a chance to talk to her yet. But she might get the notification and she probably will come on. All right, so I'm going to put salt and pepper on here. We're going to put, so this is now, um, we're going to put some basil on the chicken just a little bit. Um, we're going to put some, no, the parsley doesn't go in there. We're going to put a little bit of onion. And did I bring my garlic out or did I leave it over there? Already I'm losing things, guys. Oh, garlic. I, I know I just had it. I know I just had it. Let's look over here. I'm going to turn these around a little bit, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Chaos with Linda. You know that's the way it is. Is this the freaking garlic tab? Here it is. I don't know how it got over there. Anyway, I made a little uh, marinara sauce, just a tiny. I was going to use my leftover chopped meat gravy for this, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want chopped meat in my eggplant. So I just opened up. Hi, Belinda. I just opened up a can of crushed tomatoes. I put some garlic, some onion, and it's just simmering over here. It'll be fine. I put some salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder, um, and that's just simmering over there. So that's fine. Um, okay. Oh, I don't know. My mom taught me well. And Gladys, being around, you know, my Italian grandmothers and my great aunts and my aunts, and it was just a bundle of food constantly. And I just, I, I guess I get my love of cooking from them. And just, um, you know, my mom, my mom, she was, she was a great cook. And I love to do it, you know. I think you really have to like to cook because if you don't, I don't think you're going to want to do it. Like Julie loves, like Julie was never in the kitchen with me. She would always, she never really wanted to be helpful in the kitchen. She, I always had to like beg her and ask her. And she didn't really, really wasn't interested in it. Um, so what I put on this guy, just not to, you know, to tell you, I want to tell you is go, uh, all my seasoning, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, um, and a little basil. This is going to go into the oven for 45 minutes, okay? So I'm going to put that in there. Hi, Patricia. Your aunt was Italian. Oh, Italians are the best, aren't they? They're sweet. They're but they're tough too. I had some wacky, I had, but I had some wacky Italian relatives. Hi Jackie, great to see you or hear you or talk to you. All right, let's put this in. All right, for, Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. Um, 45 minutes. What was I saying there? Minutes. Does anybody remember? Cause I don't. Um, yeah, so um, we just love to cook. We love to cook. Everything was based around cooking. That, hey Tracy, um, it's just the way it is, you know. Love food and uh, all that stuff, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bread these, um, like like I said, I got a very small eggplant. This, I, I didn't tie my, I couldn't tie my, um, my apron on the right way, so I like, it's very big on me, so when my son comes home, he's gonna have to uh, tie it over for me because it's like hanging down, it's too, it's, it's not, it's not tight enough. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but anyway. But so I got a small one, a small eggplant. What I did was I soaked the eggplant in salt for like a half hour, probably longer, maybe an hour. Soaked it in salt, all, and, and what that does is that takes the bitterness out of it. Then I rinsed it, dried them off, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna fry them up. And did you ever just have fried freaking eggplant? Oh my God. It is so good just by itself. Sometimes I'll just eat it like by itself without even, you know, putting it on the putting it in the parm and all that. And I'm I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't buy a bigger one because now that I, I'm making it, I'm like I should have made a freaking bigger one because I love it, you know. But I, that, that's okay. I can make it again if I want to. Anyway, let's get moving on, moving and shaking, and get this breaded. <clears throat> all right. So. Okay, I'm not going to put this on yet because I'm going to wait until this is breaded. Oh, of course, I didn't get a plate. You know, Linda, get it together. Get it together. Sorry. Here I am. I'm back. All right. Okay, guys. So, you can see me, right? Now, like I said, I really won't be able to read too much 
I like eggplant parm is the best yummy. Yes, yes it is. It is. It's awesome. So um, I'll come. I'll get up in a minute, and I'll back. I'll go back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I have plain breadcrumbs. I didn't have any Italian breadcrumbs. I don't know who that was. So I have. Oh, this is freaking panko. Oh my god. Just give me a second. Typical, typical, typical. Where's my other one? Here it is. So now I have to take. I I don't want to use panko for this. I want to use. Um, my regular breadcrumbs. And this is plain. Um, when I went to, um, let me just get rid of this right now. When I went to Aldi, the last time they had, they had Italian and I bought it. Then I went, when I went back again, they only had plain. So I should have bought five of them because they're, they're really, really reasonable there. All right, I'm going to put this on a plate because I'm not going to try that right now to get it into that container without spilling it all over the house. And just give me a cut. All right, so we're gonna put some plain breadcrumbs in here. I don't know, probably about a half a cup. We gotta season this up, guys, okay? Cause this is plain breadcrumbs. Uh, Tracy, we are here for the chaos. Yeah, you better be here for the chaos cause you know it's chaotic. And I'm not, you know, I used to apologize for it. I'm not gonna apologize for my chaos anymore because you know what? That's who I am. That's who I am. I'm going to be who I am. Whoever wants to watch it can watch it. Whoever doesn't want to watch it can, you know, whatever. Have you been back to Italy? Oh, God, I haven't been back. I've never been to Italy. I've never eaten eggplant. It looks like I would enjoy it. I think you would. It's freaking awesome. Um, no, I, my, my grandmother and my like, great-grandmother and all those people um, lived, were, were from Italy. But I've never been to Italy myself, but I would love to freaking go one day before I die in my life. Um, actually, my maiden name is Salerno, and there, hey Michelle, and there's um, a city in Italy named Salerno, so I would love to go see Salerno. I'd love to go see, you know, I'd love to go there, but I don't know what's going to, you know, we'll, we'll see, maybe if I win the lotto, lottery or something, but I don't know. Um, all right, so I'm going to put some onion powder in here. So glad you are staying true to yourself, that's why we are here. That's it, you know, guys, you, I, I can't be anything than who I am. It, it, if I'm fake, if you're fake, you're gonna, people know it. People are smart. But, you know, they don't, they don't want fake, you know, and that's the truth. Um, so I put uh, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. I don't even remember if I put freaking salt because I'm talking, so I don't know, I'll put some more salt. I'm gonna do some basil. Okay, because this is Italian. Um, yeah, I think I did onion. Yeah, I did all that. So I'm going to put some, um, um, Italian seasoning and definitely some grated cheese because everything has to have grated cheese. Now, oop, didn't miss that comment. I'm trying, trying to see the comments as best as I can. I'm not going to, I can't promise that I can see them all. Uh, Tracy. Hey, Courtney. Courtney's here too. Great to see you guys. I keep saying to see you guys. I can't see you, but you can see me. So, hi, everybody. You, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so let me, get started. let me get started. So, you're correct. Being yourself is the best. What what we cooking? Okay. Hi, wrap me in a hug. Oh, hi, Ellie. So glad to be here. I love you guys. I'm so glad. Um, we're cooking eggplant parmesan because Gladys, who's on here, one of my subscribers has been asking me for a couple, I think it's a couple of months, I'm so sorry, Gladys, um, to, to, if I can make eggplant parm. So I decided to make it tonight on the live because I'm only making a little and it's perfect it, and, and it's the perfect time. Hi, Alaska. Oh, Jen, hi, so great to talk to you. So, so great. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so, um, yeah, so I figured I would make it, I would make it on, on the live, okay? All right, so now as I'm doing this, I, I mean, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna and I'm gonna, um, you know, go in and out of this this situation here. Maybe I should like, you know, crack the egg. That that would help. Um, so Billy and I. <laughs> this is a long story. Now Billy and I met when we were younger. Um, we were sounds yummy. Yeah, it's gonna be yummy. Um, I was, I went to Dunkin' Donuts to work, 
I was uh, 19, he was 15. Yes, I know, he was 15. Um, I was 19, and we, I worked in the, um, in the outside of the, um, of Dunkin' Donuts where I would be frosting the, no, I'm sorry, where I would work at the register and serve the uh, donuts and give people donuts and everything. Well, he, his sister was the manager, and his sister hired me. And um, anyway, so I started working there. He was very young, and they, he needed a job, I guess, wherever. So he started working there uh, as a porter, which means he was mopping the floor and, and doing all that kind of stuff um, and all that stuff. And then he became a baker. So um, he was had red hair and like, I was just attracted to a redhead. I really was, I was attracted to that. And I thought he was really cute. I knew he was, I, I didn't know how old he was and that he was a little bit younger than me. But um, we became like flirty and he would throw donuts at me. I would throw, you know, from, I'd be all the way like down the aisle, down the, down the thing. And he'd be throwing donuts at me and we just, you know, it, we had a great time. And we really, we, 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 you know, had a rapport together. Anyway, to make a long story short, because we don't have all night. Um, we, um, we, we invited him to go bowling with us, me and my cousins. And so he went bowling with us. He was very shy, very, very shy. I was shy, he was shy. Anyway, from that night on, we were just inseparable. And that's history. History was made. So that's the story with that. That's how we met at Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, at Dunkin' Donuts. So I mixed these eggs up, guys. Just for, I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in here. So, um, we decided we were going to get married. We wanted to get married. He asked me and all that. Yeah. And, um, and so we planned our wedding. And a few months before we planned our wedding, well, not a few months, like five months, there was a little something in the oven. Yeah, guys, I really haven't disclosed this. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, guess what? The wedding was going to be in December. It changed to May. So, it, no, it changed. Hello, Linda. It was supposed to be in May. It changed to, I'm um, just trying to see. It changed to um, December. So, we got married in December. And then Jennifer was born in May. So, Billy was... Um, I was 23, and, um, he was 19 when we got married. Yes, 19. So Jennifer was our first baby. All right, so just, this in, in here is salt and pepper. I think I'm also going to put a little, um, I'll put a little onion powder, and I'll also put a little Italian seasoning. So, um, and some basil. If I'm going too fast, guys, just comment, let me know, because I am going back and forth. Uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, and it, it happens. I'll never forget my aunt. My I have an aunt, my I have um, a great aunt who she passed. She was like 99 when she died a couple like I don't know eight nine years ago. Anyway, she was such a pain in the butt. Every time she would tell me, if you talk to um, my cousin or whatever, say that you know, say that you were, don't say you're pregnant. Like she was so upset and so scared that her Italian friends and mainly her friends not 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 the family but um her friends she was so nervous about her friends I was five weeks along and found out two days before our wedding oh wow that's awesome Jen that's awesome yep so she was like don't don't say anything just just act like you had the baby I was like Aunt Louise come on so funny but Yes, yeah, it, it happens, guys. And we were we were getting married anyway, so it just happened a little sooner than we thought. So we had Jen. Well, what happened was I was, you know, pregnant. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to interrupt for a minute. I'm going to put this on. Why isn't the red light on now? Why isn't there? Oh, is the red light on? Oh, yes, it is on. All right. I'm going to put this on. Now, this, you know, the electric skillet, doesn't really, you know, heat up, like, it's not like a hot, hot oven, so I'm going to put it on 400 and see if that's good. If it gets too hot, I'll lower it a little bit, but I'm going to put some olive oil in, in the pan, not a lot, because I don't want it soaking in oil, but I, I want it to have that, you know, olive oil flavor, all right, so I'm just going to put, I don't know, 
probably like two tablespoons of oil. I could always add more if I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it so it'll heat up. I'm going to cover it so the oil will heat up. And in the meantime, I will start breading these. Now, you saw what I put in here, guys, okay? Um, i got to get these going because they're starting to turn a little bit. I, and they haven't been sitting out that long, but you know where it goes. Um, all right, so I'm going to dip it in the egg. I'm using my Simply, um, what is it called? Simply, I forget, I forget what they're called. These, these things that I advertise, that I showed you guys yesterday, I love them. They're those silicone. Um, um, if you go down below in my, um, well, if you go to my, um, in my, in my about guys, um, there's, a, um, there's a link for these. There's, they're 10% off. Um, you can get 10% off. Let me, um, let me get the thing so I can tell you. Grab it. Woo! Choking myself over here. These right here. Sorry about that. I forgot the name of it. Simply, it's the Simply Cool Things. Such a great, such a great thing. Um, they're, they're, they're giving, um, a 10% off sale. So if you go to my, um, if you go to my about, or um, of the of, and and the description of this video, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in there. Um, you can get the the link to where it to where they're selling it, and also a coupon, guys, for ten percent off for three weeks from yesterday. It, it's gonna last. Okay, so really, really good. I love it. it. It's so nice. It really, really is nice. I'll show you the others in a minute. You guys saw it yesterday, though. Most of you. Anyway, all right. So this is heating up. So um, let's get this in. Let, let's get this going. Let's just put all this fucking egg plate in here. I don't got time for this. All right. All right. Yes, I sing my words. I know, guys. I sing my words. I, you know, listen. This is alive, and I love all of you, and you know that. But I, you know, I don't care. You guys are my friends. I talk to you, you know, 95% of you are my friends. Some people don't like me. That's okay. Not everybody can be liked. Not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to like your video. That's the way it is. But for somebody to, again, I'm not going to give anybody any negative attention. I know. People don't like me to do this. Like when I, when I, when I talk about people who say negative things, they're like, Linda, I'll give them the attention that they want. That's the truth. It, it is true. But, ah, sorry. Um, oh, good, Gladys. Um, I feel like I have to say something. I'm just going to say one thing about it, and then I'm going to move on because I want positivity, and I want to have fun, and I'm not worried about the, the, I'm not worried about this person. But whoever it was said um, on my video for yesterday that I, my what's for dinner yesterday, the, the, um, the what's for dinner, on the chicken cutlets, they said, Worst video ever. Now, why do you have to say stuff like that? If you didn't like it, click off. That makes your channel so different. Thanks, Michelle. Um, if you didn't like it, don't come back or click off. Why do you have to say mean freaking things? She's a mean girl, obviously, and she's not happy. So whatever, go, go, go to somebody else who you don't think um, was the I mean, I don't understand how it was the worst video ever. But anyway, that's her problem and that's her issue, not mine. But I'm just saying, people, be nice. Come on. Just don't be rude. You don't have to be rude to people. It's not nice. Life is too freaking goddamn short. It's too short to be mean and nasty. What do you get out of it? Nothing. Nothing. Come on. So... Just be kind and freaking make good choices. And I say be kind, make good choices is because um, there was a, a, a quick a quick note. Um, Sarah from the Pog family, she was a young woman, 35 years old, had melanoma. She had it. She got it. It was in remission. It came back like a vengeance. To make a long story short, it took her life at 35 years old. Two young kids and her whole bio and her whole being was 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 be kind and make good choices and that's what she always said 
And that's what I always say now. And, and rest in peace, Sarah, from the Pog family. Her hubby does, um, is, is, is continuing um, the channel, doing positive things and all of that. But just be kind and be freaking and, 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 and make good choices. Life is so short. And this poor girl is, is in heaven now with, and her family's without her. So let's, let's in, in the name of her people, let's just be nice. And I'm not talking to you guys, you know who I am. I'm just talking to people who could be rude, you know. Let's be nice. All right. That's it, guys. So I think this is probably hot. It seems like it is. Why isn't that, uh, why isn't, uh, why wasn't the light on? The light went off. I don't know if it's supposed to go off. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's get going on this. But yeah, it's not necessary. It's not necessary to say negative things. Keep it to yourself. So we found out we were pregnant, so we pushed the wedding, you know, up, and um, Jennifer was, was due June 5th, and all of a sudden, on May 7th, was it May 7th? Yeah, May 7th, I was sitting in the living room, or I think I got up or something, I don't even remember. This was, um, this was four weeks before I was, before I was due, okay? I felt like I was getting some sort of pains in my stomach. So I'm like, this is weird. This is weird. Like, I don't, this is, I think I'm having contractions. And I was a month, a month, you know, I wasn't due for a month. So I called the doctor and to make a long story short, I'm going to say that a lot. I'm make a long story short. He told me to come to the hospital and everything. And uh, they checked me and all that. And I was in labor. I wasn't in like full labor or anything. I was very, I was like a couple of centimeters. But I was in labor, you know, they had discovered that I was in, la I was, I was in labor. So, um, four weeks early, okay, I was four weeks early. But um, I think they, they knew that she was okay. I, I forget, guys, it's been 34 years, so there's a little bit of the details that I forgot. Well, anyway, I'm going to skip to the really important part, okay? So, the doctor checks me and everything else, and... and you know, um, they they um, they say um, I'm in the labor del delivery room, and you know I'm hooked up to uh, the, the things. And the doctor says to me, and this was a doctor that my mother used for my brother. I have a brother that's 12 years younger than me. My mother got married again, and my brother is 12 years younger than me. And um, so my mother used this doctor for her, for of of, of my brother. Okay, so I felt very comfortable with him and all that. Well, so he, you know, he was hanging out. He came to check me. He's like, oh, it's going to be a while, you know, and you're not really moving fast. And, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go and, you know, relax a little bit. And I said, okay. So I'm, I'm a new mother. I'm a new, you know, I'm a, I'm a lady who doesn't know what the hell's going on. You know, this is my first baby. Yes, I've been around babies. Yes, I've been around my sisters. And, but I wasn't a freaking nurse. I wasn't a labor and delivery nurse. So I was really, really in pain. I was getting a lot of contractions, and it was coming really fast, and I kept telling them that I need to push. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I need to push. So the nurse came in and was like, oh, you're fine, and I'll get the doctor, and he never came in. He literally was taking a nap in the bathroom. I'm not even kidding. He was taking a nap, okay? He was taking a nap. And the nurses, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but they weren't really up, and they weren't paying attention. And... All of a sudden, they come. The doctor comes in. This is a couple of hours, guys. This is after a couple of hours. They come in. The doctor comes in and he looks at the thing, all frantic. He's like frantic. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta get this baby out right now. We gotta get this baby out right now. Right now. So they gave me. They rolled me into the into the into the room. They gave me a spinal. Okay. They didn't give me. They didn't put me out. They gave me a spinal which was that thing in the, in the back, okay? And um, I had to push the baby out. And when she came out, guys, the cord was wrapped around her neck like five or six times, not even exaggerating, not even exaggerating, that we found out later on that she lost 23 minutes of oxygen in at the time of labor. So all that time that everybody was fooling around, everybody was napping, and everybody was supposed to be checking on me, nobody noticed that, that the baby was choking to death. And how would I know? How would my husband and I know? 
we were young, number one, we're not, and we don't know what the, what the freaking machine's supposed to say. Yeah, guys. So, but let me, let me tell you something. I, I just want to turn the sauce off one second. So let me tell you something. At the time of her birth, her APGAR, okay, now this is going to be really hot. I can just feel it. I got to lower it a little bit. Her APGAR score was pretty normal. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, she had a little bit of jaundice and um, I think she had a little bit of, um, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Right, Courtney? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, she had a little bit of, um, I think, temperature issue or whatever. But other than that, she, they, they said she was healthy. Like I said, everything was good. Everything was good. So I'm going to skip the birth of your daughter. What a story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Linda, that's so terrifying. Yeah, it was, it was, it was horrible. Being such a young mother, like I was 23 years old. My, my husband was 19. It was just, but anyway, at the time of her birth, we didn't know. Everything was fine. We, we left with the baby. With, we left the hospital with the baby. Everything was fine. We went to the doctor visit, and the doctor says, oh, okay, we're just going to keep an eye on this situation. I'm like, what situation? He's like, well, her head circumference level, her head circumference is measuring um, not where it's supposed to be at her age. So he was like, but, you know, this happens. Okay, guys, you hear that? You see that sizzle? He goes, this happens, and sometimes it'll catch up with, it, with, it, with itself. Let's just, you know, watch it and... Wait for the next um, the next visit, and we'll see if it grow if, if it you know grows at all. So I wasn't too alarmed, but I was you know a little nervous because I'm like, what the hell's going on? Nobody knew anything. So anyway, skip to the next visit, and the next visit, and the next visit, and her head was just not getting bigger, not getting to the way it was supposed to be. So then my sisters, who were older than me and had kids already. My one sister is five, five years older than me. My other sister is six years older than me. And they had, they had each had a kid already. And, you know, they, they were experienced and we were experienced. I, I, I babysat all my life. I knew, I knew about babies and, and all that and what they were supposed to do at what ages and all that. Um, so we were all, you know, privy to it. But anyway, she was a couple of months old and she wouldn't, she couldn't hold her head up. You would hold her like this, like you hold the baby, and literally her head would go like this. She had no self-control, no head control. Her head would just, just, hey, Crystal and Jose, nice to see, nice to be here with you guys. Um, she had no head control, and when you held her, you had to hold her like this because her head would go flying. So that was alarming, and my sisters were like, Lynn, that's not, like, I don't know, that's not... I don't think that's normal. I don't, I think you should really. So we took her back to the doctor and it was a thing from there. You have no idea. They didn't know. They, they had to, she had to have an MRI. She had to be put out. She had to have the, all these tests done. She was a baby. She was six months old. She was a baby. Okay. Then um, she had the MRI, which was a, which was a traumatic Oh, thank you so much, hon. I appreciate that. Really, I really, really do. I appreciate it. Hi, Diane. Um, which, the whole thing was a traumatic thing because we were so young and we were not ready for this kind of situation. You know, our first baby and near, newly married, it was really, really a nightmare. And so anyway, we went through that whole traumatic scene of, you know, having her be put out and, you know, all this stuff to them saying they weren't sure exactly what it was. And this is the answer they gave me. You want to know the answer they gave me? Just listen to this. It could be something very minor. It could be cerebral palsy. We're not sure from why. You know, they, don't, they didn't know why at this point. They never know why right away, whatever. Or it could be leukodystrophy, which was a form of muscular dystrophy which is a deadly, deadly disease. I can't even imagine what you went through. Oh my God, you have no idea. You, I can't even express it. I, I, and I, I, I haven't spoke about it in so long, but I, re, I remember, I re, it's all coming back to me. It's like in here, I, I just, I, it was so, so traumatic and so devastating. And so they tell me, well, if it's leukodystrophy, we'll know because what happens is when she's doing her therapies, she won't improve. 
she'll she'll go backwards. She won't improve. You'll we'll know if it's leukodystrophy. But if she improves and she's able to walk and all of that, we we'll know it's not leukodystrophy. So here we are. Okay, listen. We go to the um we go to the rehabilitation center that she started at six months old. Now just picture bringing your baby to a, a, at six months old to a, a rehabilitation center to have physical, speech, and occupational therapy, okay? Just picture that. A new mother, a new father, n newly married. That's traumatic just for any parent, any parent, never mind being in our situation. So we started on the therapies and um, I'll never forget, I cried my eyes out. My sister Lisa used to come with me. She was such a big form of support because Billy, Billy was young, he had to work. We were just starting out. We had no money. We were broke. We were just starting out. We lived in a one-bedroom apartment. It, it was, you know, it was just ridiculous. So I'm going to take these out, guys. These are good, see? Nice and light. I don't want them dark, dark. If you know, if you know about my cooking, you know that like when I make chicken cutlets or when I make, I like everything light. I don't like anything really dark and burnt. That's just the way we are. So that's it. Yeah. So I want them like this. So I'm going to take these out on the on the um, this way. I don't, you know, have a chance of them burning. And let me do the other ones. Um, so um, there's not many more left. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in here. Um, so we go to therapy, and my sister, like I said, came with me because I was like, and and I, as she was getting the physical therapies, and she was, they were maneuvering her because she was a baby. She was a baby. She was six months. And the doctor, and, and the therapist who was wonderful, these people, it was called Juanio, and it was in another, it was in a county that, that we lived in, and that I grew up in, and it was just a beautiful, amazing place. The, the therapists were like gods. They were like gods. You went on everything they said. You know, her physical therapist, you know, just kept giving me hope and saying, you know, she's going she's gonna to be okay. She's doing good. She's going to, she's doing good. You know, but it was it was it was torture because we didn't know. Like we we had to sit there and go through all this stuff and not know if if Jennifer was gonna be okay, if if she was gonna live. Like we had no clue, no clue. So I would go to the therapies and I my sister would come with me sometimes and while they were maneuvering her, she would cry and it was just uncomfortable. She wasn't being hurt or anything. I would never have let that happen. But she wasn't being hurt, but she was being maneuvered, and she's a baby. Well, but Linda, you have such an amazing heart. Only you could handle something like that, because I, I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, well, you know what? You know what, Crystal? A lot of people say that to me, that, you know, God only gives you what you can handle. I believe that, and I believe it, but what other choice did I have? Like, I wasn't one of those parents who 40 years, if it was 40 years ago, would have had a, a Down syndrome baby, and they would put them... Oh, it smells so freaking good. I would, I, I, I would never have put my baby in an institution. I would have take, take that baby home. I didn't care what, you know, because Down syndrome babies had heart problems and people didn't want them, so they put them in, in freaking, in, 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 in places. No, I had no choice. I wasn't take, I wasn't giving my baby up or anything like that. That was not even, uh, that was not even in my thoughts. So I had to deal with it. I had to, but. Let me tell you something. It was the hardest thing that my husband and I ever had to do. And going through all the therapies and everything, she was doing really well. And But let me tell you something. They realized that it, it wasn't low glucose dystrophy. It couldn't have been because she was improving. She started to, her muscle tone started to get better. She started to, you know, like um, improved with all her muscle tones. So they knew that it wasn't leukodystrophy. God, thank you. I, we were so, so excited that, I mean, obviously, obviously, okay. We real, they, they realized that they said she had, she had cerebral palsy, okay. Um, do you know, uh, that therapist, her physical therapist and occupational therapist worked with us, worked with us, worked with her, like dogs and they kept saying to me she's gonna you know he kept saying to me she's gonna walk and I'm like is she gonna walk I was so scared that she wasn't gonna walk 
guys, it was the biggest, it was the biggest torture heartache that you ever want to go through. Not knowing. I would go to baby showers. I'll never forget. My uh, my cousin in law. Well, it was it was my cousin and her his um, a boy cousin and his fiance. It was her sister's baby shower, and we went to her baby shower. I think it was her sister. It was somebody's baby shower. I don't even freaking remember who it was. It doesn't even matter. Anyway, I brought Jennifer with me because they wanted you were allowed to bring the kids. And Jenny was very young, and Jenny couldn't walk. And this, this, there was a child there that was the same age as Jennifer. I broke down. I couldn't go to any places there was kids <coughs> Jenny's age. I couldn't do any of that. I'm just waiting because Frankie's going to come in. Um, it was so, so hard, guys, to watch these other children. Um, oh, thank you so much, Tracy. Oh, my God, you are such a sweetheart. That is the sweetest thing. You people are, I have the best, best, best subscribers. I love you all. Thank you so much for that super thanks. I am so grateful. You have no idea how grateful I am. Thank you. Mwah. Um, um, I lost my train of thought. So it was really, really difficult to be in, in a situation where kids were, there was kids that were the same age. And here I was with my first daughter, my first child, and my baby couldn't walk. Devastating, devastating. Even just her having cerebral palsy, whatever she had, it was the most, it was the worst thing. And guys, I, I, I'm gonna probably have to do another video of this, and I'll, I'll go on to the next because this is really, this is like so, so, so. There's so much that I have to tell you guys about it. So much I have to tell you about it um, because the mourning, and you mourn every age, you mourn every milestone that she was supposed to make. You mourned and mourned and mourned. Till this day you mourn, guys. She's 34 years old. And you still mourn. You mourn. You know, you you it, it it's mourning the child that you never thought you would have. And that's because you're expecting something different. There's a poem that I've read before. And I'm gonna read it on my on my page again. It's called um uh should have went to France or something like that. <laughs> Give me one second. I, I can't, I can't, um, I can't uh, stop you guys, but just hold on one second. Give me one minute. One second. <laughs> it's, it's turned. Um, so, um, I'm going to read you that poem, guys, because it's a poem about a person who, it's, a, it's like an analogy, you know, an analogy that um, somebody thought they were going to Paris and they ended up going to, you know, France or, some, or somewhere else and they were just so upset. But it was about like, you know, so yeah, what, so, yeah. Oh God, they are, they are small. 15 bucks. Wow. So um, it, it was, it's all right. It was about that. It was about being happy with what you, even though you went to France instead of you went to, to Paris or whatever, you still, it was still beautiful. You still saw the, the light. You still saw the, the beautiful sights. You still enjoyed it. You still, it was, oh, it gives me the chills just to think about it. Oh my God. It's an, it's an amazing poem. And it's so, so, so poignant for people who have disabled children or people who have, you know, sickness or all of that, guys. It really, really is. And I'm definitely going to read it to you guys. You'll love it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful poem. Anyway, yeah. So, we kept going to therapy. Okay, this is done. All right. Oh, no, but I need this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out because um, I don't want all that oil in here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out. So, just give me a second. You know... You know Paris is in France, right? Paris, Paris is in France. Paris is in France, guys. I'm sorry, but you you get what I'm saying, okay? My son, of course, has to call me out on it, right? All right. Give me one second. I think I smelled my trunk. I bought water for that, so. Oh, you did? It's always good price. Yeah. All right. Let me just let me just dump this out, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Make sure he stays up there. Welcome to Holland. Yes. Eileen, yes, yes, yes. I can never remember the freaking name of it. Guys, welcome to Holland. Such a beautiful poem. I think about it and it makes me choke up. 
It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so let me take this and just clean this out. I'll bring you, I'll turn these around so you can see me. So you're not just looking at nothing. Um, welcome to Holland. Oh my God. So, so great. You know, and that's the whole, that's the whole thing. You, you know, nobody expects to have, you know, you, you go in and, and you have a baby and you don't realize how lucky you are. Like, you know, you don't realize how lucky you are to have a healthy baby. Like, you don't know. Like, it's really like an amazing thing. It really is to have a healthy baby because so many things could go wrong. So many things could go wrong. Um, and so she worked, we worked, they worked with her in therapy constantly. And it was, you know, and, and he just kept telling me, Jerry, my, my physical therapist, he kept telling me, Linda, Linda, she's going to walk. I know she's going to walk three years old, four years old. And I was like a nervous wreck because at five years old, they were, they were, they age out of this rehabilitation center that she went to. So I was like, oh my God, please, please, please. I need him to be her therapist. Like I didn't want for him to not be her therapist because he worked with her so much. I just love how your whole mindset is. I had a miscarriage once, but I'm not able to have it all. My first marriage was 10 years. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I know crazy guys uh, uh, it's crazy I, I mean I would have never given my baby up maybe I, 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 I can't even say maybe I would have never never I, 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 I never never ever uh, so yeah um, that's rough I'm so sorry hon I'm so sorry um, and so they worked he just kept telling me Linda it's gonna happen it's gonna happen well she was five years old she was gonna age out and I was like we were so upset I was trying to think of how I was gonna have Jerry continue to do her physical therapy. I would bawl my eyes out. My sister and I would just sit there and, and Billy and we would bawl our eyes out. She wasn't walking yet, she was five years old. I was I was beside myself. You gotta and, and you gotta also understand I I'm just taking all of the um the grease and stuff out of here. So I don't want all that stuff and stuff. Um, you have to understand too that I had nephews. My my sisters all had kids. They were all boys. Jenny was the only girl, the first granddaughter that, that my mother and, and father had, you know, on on, on both sides. And um, she was the first granddaughter. And it was it was devastating, devastating. Okay, as you can as you would imagine. Um, we would go for holidays, and you know, and Jenny. But let me tell you something. Jenny was treated like just the boys. She, they, they treated her amazingly, and she crawled around. When everybody else was walking around, running around, Jenny was crawling on her knees. That's what she would do. She got everywhere. She did everything. She didn't, she was like a boy. She was right in there with them. She had the personality of a, of a, of a fighter. And what happened was Jerry, what he, used, what he did was he made her this, this thing. It's like, almost like um, you, would, you would push it. It was like a big, a big long cart. And it was really heavy, and he would he sent it home with me, and he would say, "Bring that in your house. Let her push that around." He didn't give her a walker. He didn't want to do that, but he gave her this thing to push around, and she would push it around. Oh, and I'd bring it to the I'd bring it to my sisters. I'd bring it to my mom. Wherever we went that was feasible, we brought it there because it was a way for her to be on her feet and to feel like she was with everybody else. I it was just a barrel of crying constantly. It was. It was, uh, it was, it was a nightmare. Anyway, guys, I've said that enough, but it's just very, very, it's very, very emotional for me to talk about it. It really, really is. <sighs> Let me just take a breath. So let's get this going while I'm doing this. Now I'm just going to spray, just going to spray this a little so it doesn't stick. Just a little. And I'm going to get some, um, I'm going to go get the pot. I'll be right back. Give me one second with the sauce in it. <clears throat> So, the whole thing was hard, you know, as I told you, I got to add a little bit of water to this gravy really once this marinade. So, be, that all being said, with all that business going on and being really, really difficult for us, um, we continued to do what he said. He continued, you know, it was, she was five years old and she was, like I said, in a couple of months she was, she was aging out. Of the of the facility, she was going to go to special ed preschool, you know, whatever, whatever. 
um, that we were refining, we were, de we were deciding on at that moment. So I'm going to put gravy right now at the bottom of this pan, okay? Now, normally I would bake this in the oven. Very hard for siblings, no matter what the special need is. Oh, God. It just changed the whole dynamics of our family. Like, our family was completely, like, from the get-go. My, my other two kids had to convert to what was happening with Jennifer, you know, and, um, and they loved her and all of that, but it was hard. It was hard. Hard on everybody, guys, from soup to nuts, from soup to nuts. But I wouldn't change, before I say anything else, I wouldn't change her for the world. I wouldn't because she's a special, beautiful child who is just, yes, different, different, but the light of my life. Like, I, I you know, I, I, I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, you guys know that, but... Anyway, so, um, you know, we were deciding on where she was going to go, um, you know, and, and that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother freaking show. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to put the, put, I'm going to lay the eggplant down. Now, I only have so many, so I'm going to layer them. I'm probably going to do, I don't know, I think I, I let, let me just check this out. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Make sure you guys can see. Yes, Jennifer is precious. There's two. I think I'm going to do three, three on each. I think I, I'll have enough for three on each. All right. So let's do one. So I'm going to need um, three, six, nine, twelve. So let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I have. A, I'll have a couple more. All right. So um, I'm going to do. Two, I'm going to do two more because I'll have. I'll have enough for. Um, for more. All right, so these are small. Next time I'll definitely get the bigger ones, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to put another little, a little amount of gravy on, uh, a marinara on here. Just a little bit of um, marinara on each one because I like it with the sauce. I'm going to put this on in a minute. It's not on yet, but I'll put it on in a minute. So I'm just putting some more sauce, some more marinara sauce, whatever the hell you call it. Um, let's put some grated cheese. Okay, this is how I like to do mine. Some mozzarella. Now I got the slices. I love the slices of, mo of mozzarella, even for like my, hey, just, hey, so great to have you, AJ. So great for you to be here. Thank you for coming and watching. Um, so um, I, I love the sliced cheese. I even use them for like lasagna and sometimes baked ziti. I just really, really like, I, I like them a lot better. So anyway. We like a lot of cheese. I like a lot of cheese. So I'm going to put a whole piece. And I'm just going to squish it up on here. I'm going to put a whole piece. Well, I think I'll put a half because I, I need to have enough cheese. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Alexa, stop. I have no idea what that alarm's for. Does anybody know what that alarm's for? Oh, for the oven. For the oven. <laughs> for the oven. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, uh, I don't even know what, what, what was I say? Okay, let me, let me do this and then we'll, I'll do the next step and then I'll get back into the, the, um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to tell you more, but, um, there's a lot that, that I'm going to have to do another video on because there's, there's just too much. There's so much that you have no idea. Okay. So I'm going to put more on top. I'm going to put another one on top of each one. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I'm going to have enough for, um, let's see. This freaking string keeps coming down. Um, so I have, let's see, so I have six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God, I have just enough, guys, just enough. All right, let's put some more sauce. It's gravy sauce. And I wouldn't be Linda, create with Linda until I do this. You know it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm not, I'm not apologizing, though. I'm not saying I'm sorry. <laughs> Mix it out. Okay. More grated cheese.
more mozzarella. I'm going to do half. Um, and like I said, I would put this in the oven, but it doesn't need to go in the oven. I just need to cover it because everything is cooked. Everything is cooked already. You know what I mean? Ah, shoot. A lot of that sauce came off of there. That's all right. The more mozzarella, the better. All right. Um, a little more marinara. So, anyway, I'll tell you the end. I, I will tell you if she walked or not. So, my husband and I are out with her. It was, she was five years old. Well, like I said, a little over five. I said that already. And we went to the food store with her, and we used to, she would want to get down and walk. And she couldn't, she couldn't totally walk on her own yet. So, we would hold her hands, and she would, she would walk with us. Um, you know what I mean? Holding her hands. And, um, what was I saying? Yes, she would walk with us and hold her hands. Well, she was walking with us. We were both, she was in the middle of us, and we were holding her hands, and we were walking. We were at Shop at Pathmark. I'll never forget the store we were at. I'll never forget the spot we were at. I'll never forget the timing, everything. I, I had stayed in my head. All of a sudden, she let go of our hands, and she just went, running give me one second I'm sorry guys just give me one second let me get myself together over here <laughs> sorry Sorry, it's just it's it's very emotional. It it brings her back. It's very emotional. She went running to the eye to she just went running and we were like flabbergasted. We were like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That we dropped everything we had. We didn't even finish food shopping. We just we went straight home. I think we I might have had a cell phone at that point. I think so. Oh, I think but I called her physical therapist and I was hysterical crying on the phone saying Jennifer is walking. Jennifer is walking. It was the best day of our life. She took off walking and it was amazing because we never thought it would happen. She just let go and there and we were like and, and us both of us are just standing there in the middle of the food store like idiots bawling our eyes out and she's looking at us like we're crazy because she don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Guys, an amazing day. It was an amazing day because you know being in being in a wheelchair to compare to being being able to function on your own is is, is 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 a big difference you know and let me tell you something if she never walked if she was in a wheelchair it would have been what it would have been and she would have had the fullest life as she had already I would have never kept her back or anything she would have done everything like she did and let me tell you something Jennifer thrived. Jennifer played baseball. Jennifer was in brownies. Jennifer was in Girl Scouts. I was, uh, I was so, I always wanted to make sure that Jennifer was to be put where she deserved to be put. You know, even though like at times she would be shunned like at Girl Scouts that I feel, you know, they might like none of the girl, not a lot, a lot of the girls wouldn't always, you know, um, interact with her and it was, it was difficult you know, I didn't care. I didn't care. And one another time I'll tell you about, she went to religion in, religious instructions, and there was a special ed teacher, a special ed teacher, mind you, who was teaching the class, and I'm going to tell you a story about what happened there. You're not even going to believe what, what, what goes on in this world, what went on in the world even 35 years ago. I'm going to tell you that another time, because that's just truly traumatic for me to talk about right now. But it was, it was horrible. It was horrible. Horrible. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so she walked, guys, she walked at five, and it was amazing, 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 um, the best day of our life, and she is, she is a treasure, and then we find out that, that it wasn't, it wasn't my fault or anybody's fault, well, it was somebody's fault that Jennifer, she had lost 23 minutes of oxygen, 
that's a whole nother video, guys. I can't even go there right now. But we found out that it was it was definitely negligent. Negligence on the doctors, the hospital, everything. Yeah. So it didn't have to happen. My first child didn't have to have it didn't have to be like that. She could have she could have been a a a, a, a regular ed, you know whatever. I, don't, I never really know how to say it, but she she she, she could have had you know a normal life um, if they would have just paid attention to what the hell they were doing and not taking naps in the back. That's not what you're a doctor for. Anyway, it makes me angry and I don't even want to go there. But yes, guys, you know how hard it was to also deal with it after knowing that it wasn't. It was something that didn't have to happen. That makes it even worse. It wasn't like it naturally happened. Oh, things happen. You know, it couldn't have, it couldn't have been prevented. Yes, it could have. That's the whole thing. It could have been prevented. That makes it 150 times thousand worse than it was. But anyway, guys, we're thankful for her at 34 years old. And we've come a long way. She's come a long way. It's rough. It's been rough. But, um... It's also been a blessing. She really has been a blessing. She really has. All right. Okay. So I'm going to plug this in. Plug this in. All right. The wire is all, is all. Give me one second. Yeah, talking about her walking, guys, it just brought me back. It's just really, it's very emotional, you know. I, I never thought it would happen, you know. I, I just always thought... She's not going to walk, you know, and at five years old, she waited till the, she waited. She just said, oh, Monday, that's all right, I'll just take off. I'll take off when I'm ready. And that's what he said. He, Jerry said that. Jerry, Jerry, her therapist said that. That's what's going to happen. She's just going to take off one day, and I just have to charge this. And, uh, and that's what she did, guys, and such, such a great day. Such, such a great day. Yes, hit that thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And hit the notification bell because when you hit that bell, you get notified every time that I come on. But she couldn't be at her best because of you. You guys are so sweet. You guys are really too sweet. I really appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even freaking done yet. Look, I'm getting to, I'm getting to chatting. I got one more layer to put on. I got one more layer. See, this is what I do. This is what I do. I'm chatting, and I forget, and that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We're going to do it anyway. I'm crazy. Oh, God, I'm going to start singing that. My favorite song is the, is the Patsy Cline song. Did anybody, does anybody ever um, listen to Patsy Cline? Oh, I love her. I love her. She was, um, what's her face, his best friend. I forget that other girl, that other lady. Anyway. Crazy for feeling so lonely. I always sing that song. You know it, you know it, you know it, you know it. All right, this is the last piece of cheese on each. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, grated cheese. And I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on each one. And I'm just going to wait till the cheese melts, until it gets all gooey and ooey and gooey and gooey and gooey. I got to take that freaking chicken. I don't want that chicken to overcook. Could it have been 45 minutes already? That, yeah, I think it's 45 minutes. Let me check on the chicken leg. Oh, I'm going to cover this, guys, okay? I'm covering it. I covered the pan. Um... All right, let's check these out. I don't know where any of my Gatsy things are. I, I, they're all. Is it anybody else can never find their things? Like I need new. I need. I need these. I. 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 I gotta go to the store. But you know, I. I used to buy them at the Dollar Tree. They work like crap. Don't ever buy them from the Dollar Tree because they'll burn your freaking hands off. So I bought a couple at Walmart or at the uh, Dollar General one day. I get home, I use them, they're the same thing. They, they're not even, they don't even work good. I, I just couldn't even believe it. I was like, are you for real? All right. Um, now, I'm going to check these and see if they're done. I'm not going to put, I like them with barbecue sauce, but I'm not going to have them right now, so 
I'm gonna save a couple. Sorry for your loss. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna save it for um when I want to eat them. I used to be able to buy frozen bread and eggplant so good. I can't find it now. Sure, Trader Joe's. And, oh, Trader Joe's. Oh, we're gonna be making a my my son and my daughter and I, Julie. Julie, Frankie, and I, and my husband, we go to Trader Joe's, and then we go to H Market, because yeah, we live in New York, and it's, it's on um, in, in New Jersey. We go there. Oh, my God. Love it. Trader Joe's and H Mart is like a Japanese, like, um, rat, you know, rat, it's not a restaurant. It's a Japanese market. Oh, amazing stuff there. Amazing. So, yeah. Um, you could probably find it at Trader Joe's. At Trader Joe's, you could find stuff that you don't normally find anywhere else. Okay. So, these are done. Wow, that was quick. These are all done. So I'm not going to, I'm going to take heat them out because I don't want them to freaking dry out. So I'm not going to do anything else with these. So these are here. I'm going to show you. Let me put this back on. And that eggplant's going to be done any minute. See, guys? Look at that. How nice. If they have that eggplant, get it. Get it. Quick, yeah, quick dinner. That's a good idea. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That looks awfully good. Really, really good. All right, let's check this, guys. And then we're going to eat. Now, I'm going to put a disclosure. I, I still didn't put the other ones on, on top. That's how I'll just eat them. I don't care. I don't know what it's wrong with me. I did three. That's good. Um, mm, these are so good. Just fried for cake plant. Oh, my God. Now. What I'm going to say, whoever is squeamish about me eating, I'm not going to eat with my mouth open and, you know, I'm not rude. I'm not going to do that. But if you're, if you don't like me eating on camera, then now's the time that you maybe should fast forward or whatever. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know, guys. But anyway. Okay. Let's throw this out. Let's clean this up quick. Okay. Mm. The flavor is amazing. The flavor is so good. And guys, all it is, all it is is the seed is the is the, the garlic powder, onion powder, the Italian seasoning. Basil, grated cheese, salt and pepper. Yum! This is what I do though. We used to eat the fried eggplant right as soon as it came out. My mom would give us some plain fried. Yup. Us two growing up. Yup. We would be in there picking it and they'd be yelling at us. Just like the meatballs. Whenever we make meatballs, my husband's the same way. He comes sneaking in. We would sneak in, try to get the meatballs, and they'd be yelling at us. Gay! Gay! That's what we used to do. And that was the best part. Memories, right guys? Alright. This is done. I'm going to get a plate. And I'm going to get, um, which back one. Frankie went to Sam's Club. And I needed another meat for dinner, my dinner. So um, we looked at the London Broils. We got London Broil. Well, it's a double pack. Two thirty. Wait a minute. What is this? No, six twenty-eight a pound. That's not a great price. He told me the wrong price. He told me it was two forty something a pound. So, it was fifteen dollars for these two. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Not really a great, the greatest buy, but this will last. But this will be two meals because I'll eat a little bit. Yeah, two or three meals. This will be because Billy doesn't eat meat. He doesn't eat. The, he doesn't eat the uh, the red meat. All right, let's do this. Okay. Oh my freak. You know what? Give me a second. I'm very sorry. I know. 
guys will wait one second. I want to see if I have any um, parsley. I know I have parsley in here, but it's not only a second. The light went out in my um, in my refrigerator. Yeah, here it is. It's not the greatest. It's not the greatest, but there's some there's some good leaves here, so I'll, I'll use them because I need to have some freaking fresh parsley. Oh, guys, look at this freaking thing. Oh my lord! Ow. Guys, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you think, Gladys? What do you think? I wish I could give you some. I wish you were my neighbor. All right. Which one do I want? I think I want it. No, I think I want. Guys, I can't make it easy. I can't even make a decision doing this. <laughs> oh my lord. Now, I don't even need any, I don't need any great, any marinara from that because there's sauce all right here. There's marinara right here. Look at that shit. Look at that stuff, guys. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> happy, happy dance. Happy, happy dance. All right, let's push this over. Let's get some parsley. Now, I don't care about my parsley being big. Just gonna put it on here. Love fresh parsley. But again, if I didn't have it, I would just put some dried parsley on here. And that would be sufficient. I'm gonna put a little pepper on mine because not, I'm not gonna put salt, but I am gonna put a little pepper because I like a little pepper. I like pepper. Put a little pepper. All right, guys, I'm ready to dig in. Let me get a fork. All right, ready? down a little bit. Sorry about all the movement. All right, I'm going to sit, guys. Oh, God. I'm tired. All right, guys. Oh, my God, guys. Let's do a, let's do a thumbnail. You know I have to do a thumbnail, even though it's live. Cool. All right, ready, guys? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's nice and tender. It cooks perfectly. It is cooked perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> There's my son. He's such a brat. What are you doing? You can't be moving me. Bring me guys. I want to choke you like a chicken. He comes and he moves the freaking uh, camera. All right, guys, ready? Oh my God. Everybody's saying hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Patricia. Tracy. Stop. Enough. Belinda. Hey, Frankie. He said they want they want to see you. No. Oh, he's just he won't. Maybe someday, guys. Never. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. He thinks I'm crazy. He really does. He I know you're crazy. He thinks that I'm like, I lost it. We lost it years ago. Yeah, that's right. All right, ready, guys? Okay. Now, don't worry. I won't, I won't eat with my mouth open. Mm. Mm -hmm. Of course they do, AJ. Who's Frankie's favorite what? His favorite football team? Oh, they're not in it. Yeah, he does. He does sound out like Bill. I know, but I mean, um, oh my God, this is amazing. His Frank, uh, Frankie's favorite team is the Jets. I'm banging in it. <laughs> This is amazing. Gladys, 
have somebody come over and make this for you or order it order it from a pizza place Linda my mouth is watering <laughs> New York favorite New York favorite team is, is that your favorite team AJ the, the, um, the Jets Which friends do you like the Buffalo Bills no but my husband does my husband likes the Buffalo Bills he wants them to win he was so mad that they, that they didn't beat K, uh, KC I wish you could too, Belinda. I wish you all could, really. This is amazing. It's so good. And I'm so excited because I haven't had it in forever. Thank you, Gladys, because I really wouldn't have made it in a very long time. I wouldn't have. I'm so glad, Crystal. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not so glad for you, but for me, it's good. <laughs> um... Yes, the Jets next the Giants. Yeah, my brother is a diehard. There goes my fork. A diehard Giants fan. But my son is a diehard oh, yeah. Jets fan. And my husband yeah. is, is a Miami Dolphin fan. So even from when Frankie was little, all my husband wanted Frankie to be was a Miami Dolphin fan. And all Frankie wanted to be was a Jet fan. And it just it, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> So Billy was excited this year because he thought maybe the Miami Dolphins were going to be something. I told you, Ed oh, it's so good. Oh, Gladys, I know it's good. I'm telling you, my husband is a Commanders fan. I never heard of Commanders. Who's the Commanders? Washington. Oh, Washington. They used to be the Redskins. They, ch they changed the name to Commanders. That's crazy. Craziness. All right, this is delicious, guys. Eggplant Parmesan, I'm telling you. We just watched the Super Bowl for the snacks. Of course we do too. I'm already planning it. It's all in my head already. What I make them. I don't watch the game. What the snacks? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people are, uh, my husband gets annoyed because of the whole Taylor Swift thing. It's childish, but. What are you going to do? She's Taylor Swift. <laughs> you know what I mean? So why do you do that? That's Guys, this is delicious. This is really good. And like I said, you don't have to make a lot. No, they won't. I know, Belinda, you said that. That we don't have to worry. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift won't be around long because she can't keep a boyfriend. Which we all know that. That's sad, though, you know? Oh, I wish her the best. Hopefully she will. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I will, AJ. Maybe. I don't know about alive. I'm definitely going to do cook with me. You know what I mean? I don't know if it'll be, I don't think it'll be alive, but I'll definitely probably do the cook with me. I usually do. So, guys, get yourself an eggplant. I want some. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on about the Taylor Swift? I see it all over the place. Oh, God, it's a long story. It's not a long story. Not this. They're just dating and, you know, Taylor Swift is all about Taylor Swift and who knows. Nothing important. <laughs> yes, you're going to order wings. I'm going to make wings, actually. I used to say that. I'm going to make wings. Because by now, get, what is that? He's licking the fork that I dropped in here. Watch, watch, watch. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> Look at my face. Does everybody want to see Cooper? You got to see Cooper. Who would want to see Cooper? There he is. There he is. Linda, you are a true inspiration. Oh, thank you, Christine. I appreciate that. You know, I'm just who I am. It's it's a Swifty revolution, yeah. Lo hey! Get down! No. No, Cooper. Get up. We are grilling barbecue chicken. Ooh, yummy, mashed potatoes and gravy, that's good. Hey, Linda Cooper, you're amazing. Thank you, same to you, Janet. Um, listen, 
I'm just myself and you know, I, I love to do this. And I figured while I'm on here anyway, cooking and doing all the stuff that I do, why not try to help people? I don't help myself. People need to focus on the positives and not create drama. Dogs are wonderful and non-dramatic. Yep, that's true. It really is true. A dog changes your life in every way, in, there, in every good way. But, but it also gives you heartache, but that's life, so. That's life. So yeah, so get yourself some eggplant, make a little eggplant for yourself. You don't have to make a lot, like I said. That was a very small eggplant I bought, and look at what I made, made a lot. I'm definitely probably gonna have to freeze some of that. I mean, I'll probably have more tomorrow. But nobody else freaking likes eggplant. Maybe I'll give, it some, give, 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 I'll give some to my neighbor, I'll see if she likes it. You are a true sweetheart, Lynn. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, uh, thanks, yeah. Um, maybe I'll give some to my um, neighbor, my landlord down the, um, right below me. She, um, she'll probably, um, she likes eggplant. I'll check it. I'll ask her. But mm, I don't care because it's all mine. Nobody else wants it. Fine with me. So that's it, guys. That's my story. That's part of the story. Lost my pup last week. Oh, he had cancer. Missed that little guy. I still look for him every day when I come home. Oh, I don't know. You know, I, I, I really love vegetables with tomato sauce and cheese. Yeah, so good, Patricia. Um, wish I was there to eat. I know, me too. Me too, Gladys. Yeah, AJ, that's hard. I, I, you know, I lost, we lost our, our Sophie like three and a half years ago. And... It, you just you, you just never get over it. it it's a it's a pain that you don't ever want to feel you really don't <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna freeze it i'm probably gonna end up freezing it yes my landlord lives in the house right behind me if you've ever seen my videos where i i, I showed her house she lives right behind me but she's a saint you helped me think about the positive good good I, i'm glad crystal because you know what linda that dinner looks so yummy as always all your food looks amazing thank you um, I, I really struggle to be a positive person. It's, that doesn't really come easy for me. AJ, I'm sorry for your loss. Hi girl, so nice to see you. Hi Barbara. Um, I really do. It's, it's because of the depression and anxiety. It, it, it's, 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 it's tough, but I find when I push myself and I, and I, and I, the more I, I force myself to like, like do the, do the positive quotes. Like I, I really should do a quote before I go. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quote. I have it. I have it. I, I already took it out. Um, I feel that like I force myself to do those quotes, and I don't mean force, which means, you know, I'm just doing it for you know whatever. I'm not forcing myself that I don't want to do it. It's not that. It's just that I I, I plan to do it because I want everybody. I want to do it for everybody. I want I want to give a positive note. You know, even though it's hard, I want to give a positive note. And so that's why I do the, um, that's why I do the quotes. I really do. And again, while I'm on live with you guys, my tuna sandwich doesn't sound too exciting at all. Ooh, tuna's good. I wish I could eat, I, I can't, can only eat a little bit of tuna now because of the stupid sleeve. Tuna, well, <clears throat> if I have a little bit of mayonnaise, anything based with a lot of mayonnaise is, is, is rough for me. But, um, if I have a little bit, I can have it. But I love tuna. I, I would love a tuna fish sandwich right now. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Um, so I don't even remember what I was saying. Does anybody remember what I was saying? The, uh, oh, I'm very sorry about the sanctuary, about the sanctuary videos. I'm so sorry. I, I promise I'll get back to them. I don't know why, but it's just been really hard to wrap my head around it again. I don't know why, and I so apologize. But I am still, I'm going to get back to it. I'm still going to do my quotes and positive quotes and all that. I'm really sorry. Uh, I hate, I didn't want to let you guys on thinking I was going to do them. And then, you know, just life happens and stuff happens. You know what I mean? So, oh, in 2020, oh, I know, I know, Cheryl. It's so rough. It really is rough. It's so hard. But, you know, part of me didn't want another dog. Part of me was like, no, I can't go through this pain. But, It's like anything else, you know? 
you have pain because you love so hard, you know, and and who who doesn't want a life of love and and that, you know? Who doesn't want a life with that sweet face? And such a happy boy. He's a jabby boy. What a happy boy he is. Alright, so let me get my quote. I'll read that. Don't even think about it. I'll read my quote. Oops. Hi, the button. Oh, All right. This is out of the peace book, guys. Okay, out of the peace book. Another couple of probably about another week of the um, kindness quotes. Then I'm gonna do another one. One day, you know, I'm bedridden, but you made me ha very happy tonight. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Gladys. I really am. I'm so so glad. I wish you could get somebody over there to give you to to, to bring you some eggplant parmesan. Heck, if I lived near you, I would bring it to you. Somebody has to be over. Somebody can. Can you get? Can somebody Uber it to you or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll work something out. <laughs> Gladys, love you, Gladys, so much. Thank you for always watching. Really, really, I really, I pray for you. And you smile, God. You, you smile, okay? Smile every day because you're you're worth it. You're, you're worth smiling about. All right. This is a peace quote out of the peace book. Which peace goes with kindness. Kindness goes with peace. With, with, with peace. So, yeah. Peace. It does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be the, in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. Again, because you guys know I read two or three times. It does not, peace does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. So if you have peace in your life, you have to try to find that peace, even though you're in turmoil. If you're in turmoil, you know, it's so hard to find. Yeah, really, it really is. It does not mean to be in a place where there's no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. Because if you can be in the turmoil, you're gonna be if you're gonna be in the turmoil and you can't do anything about it, <clears throat> you gotta try to find some peace in it if that's if that's if that's you know, if that's um, if that explains it. I, I don't know. Um, just, you know, try to have peace always and um it just it just guys peace is where it's at you know peace is where it's at peace in here because like i said you know i've come a long way and you know i used to i used to be where i would be devastated if something happened in my life and i felt like the whole world was coming down now i'm at the point where i i can cope better with things you know i've worked on it so so many years worked on it and it's an every day every minute of the work of the of a, of a job so it's never it never goes away anyway guys be kind and make good freaking choices okay okay that's all i ask for guys i hope you guys enjoyed this this was so much freaking fun i think i'm going to do more of these lives like they're not stressful Really, they aren't. I, I really, I really had a great time. I hope you guys had a, a fun time. It was great talking to you guys. It was great interacting. It was very easy. I love it. I'm so good. And thank you so much for that super thanks. I appreciate that so, so much. Such a sweetheart. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So anything you have to say before I go? Does anybody have to say anything? Be kind is good advice. Yes, be kind and make good choices. Sarah Pod makes you rest in peace, that beautiful soul. So, 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 so sad. So, so sad. I'm telling you, cancer really sucks. It really does. It really does. It really does. All right, guys. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Hit that notification button and the bell so you guys can be notified in, um, in every, um, that, every video that, that I put up. And don't forget, um, that good night. Have a good night, everyone. Love you guys. I'll see you.
Thank you for coming into my kitchen with me and creating. And the eggplant was delicious. And I'm going to go have a little bit and tiny more. And then I want to clean up this mess. All right, guys. Love you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Love you. Bye. See you in the next one. Night.